why would you build a quantum computer where, well, there are quantum mechanical systems you'd want to simulate. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that yes, in fact, you get a, a significant speed up running quantum simulations on quantum computers versus classical, right? right. So, so um, you had this insight while you were at Google and this was what drew, would no, liberated I, you or? Actually, before I started my career in quantum machine learning, I wrote down the equations for our very first chip while I was at Waterloo. Uh, and I thought this idea was crazy. <laughs> it was too original. You know, I was, I was straight out of mass, my master's in theoretical physics. I had just learned machine yeah, learning. You wrote it down in one of these notebooks over here. Yeah, right? just a notebook. Yeah, crazy, exactly. Crazy ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> I thought the idea was too crazy. You know, I, I was still, I was wrapping up my master's at the time and I wanted to understand and go through the exercise of inventing a bunch of algorithms in physics-based AI more generally mm -hmm. before I went for it. Right. So I built up, you know, years of credibility, shipping a lot of papers and products and going to Google and so on to have the experience to do this moonshot. At the end of the day, you got to find what is your best idea? What is the most impactful idea uh, that you can work on for the rest of your life? What are you like willing to die for? Yeah, this is, this is we, for we call that it, a right? massive transformative purpose and your moonshot, right? Yes. It's like and, you know, I wrote down uh Again, what I hear as your MTP, which is maximizing the amount of intelligence in the universe. Yes. And along those lines, intelligence per watt, like maximizing yeah. that. And if you can do that, it's up leveling mat it's up leveling everything. Yeah. It's yeah. the highest it's a very it's a point of very high leverage, right? And obviously not everyone has to create uh, technologies that are as impactful as that, but at the same time, if everybody thinks about which technology they can build, which technologies do they have the unique skill set for that they can that they think would truly impact the world in a massively positive way, if everybody goes and does their moonshot they're thinking about, I think the world would be a much better place, right? And that's yeah. kind of the ethos of the acceleration community. I know it's the ethos of your community, yeah. uh, which really, you know. Uh, was <laughs> been around for much longer than we have. And I think a lot of people sometimes just need a push to, it's okay to be ambitious. It's okay to go for it. It's okay to take risks. Mm, you know, you, you'll so. have a supportive community, go for it. It's actually like, if you achieve what you're looking to achieve, we're all going to benefit. So we're going to support you. And I think having a supportive community is is so important.